What emotions do we eat for? Let's hear them. Stress, glad, sad, mad, boredom, fear, disappointment, anger, celebration, celebration. So we don't eat just for negative emotions. We eat for every emotion. <laughs> You know, it's, it's instinctive for us to celebrate with food. And you would be hard-pressed to find a culture that does not use food in some way to celebrate one another, to have fun, to, to, to be joyful, to love people. That's very common in many, many cultures. It's not abnormal. It's not a problem until it becomes the main way that we comfort ourselves or entertain ourselves. You know what I'm talking about? That's when it becomes a problem. If we're eating because we're stressed, bored, lonely, tired, angry, mad, sad, glad, happy, what do we eat? Of course, that's when I go place a little fresh salmon on the grill. <laughs> no? No. No. So what do we eat when we're sad, mad, glad? Chocolate, cookies? Fat, chips, whatever is easy, whatever you can get to quickly, whatever you happen to be driving by, whatever is still left on your children's plate. Yes? Yes. So when we're eating for external cues, we're going to choose whatever meets that particular need. Let's talk about the boredom issue, right? If you're bored and you eat, you're only not bored for as long as you are eating. eating. And as soon as you stop, you are bored, bored again. So you must eat. eat. Or at least check and make sure the food is still there. <laughs> right? So you eat again, and you stop, and you are bored. bored. So you must eat again. Is it any wonder that you could eat through an entire day and be stuffed and still not feel satisfied? Yes. Have you ever felt like I've been eating and eating and eating, but I still feel like I need something else? Is it possible that that something else we need isn't food? Yes. Maybe. Maybe. Food meets one need best. It meets our need for nourishment. And so when we try to use it for all of these other reasons, it doesn't really take care of those needs very well. Are you beginning to understand why diets haven't worked for you? Why, why this hasn't been the solution for most people? We're not really addressing the problem on a diet. You're talking about what you eat, not why you're eating in the first place. Because diets themselves are unsustainable. Most people can't maintain the amount of energy and tension that it takes to stay on a diet permanently. So they do it as long as they can. They do it until the wedding. They do it until the cruise. And then they're done. The problem, of course, is because you haven't been eating the foods you love, now those foods have more power. You've placed them up on the pedestal. So when you go off the diet, this is the food you want, right? Mm -hmm. It has more power over you than it even did before. So when you finally give in and eat it, you eat it. Do you know what I'm talking about, right? Mm -hmm. You worked for it. You worked for it. <laughs> you deserve it.